Welcome back to Learn JavaScript on Code Academy. We're in the higher order functions section. This is functions as data. JavaScript functions behave like any other data type in the language. We can assign functions to variables and we can reassign them to new variables. Below we have an annoyingly long function name that hurts the readability of any code in which it's used. Let's pretend this function does important work and needs to be called repeatedly. We have const announce that I am doing important work. It's assigned this function that logs out I'm doing very important work. What if we wanted to rename this function without sacrificing the source code? We can reassign the function to a variable with a suitably short name. We have const busy is assigned announce that I am doing important work. We then call busy and this function calls barely takes up any space. Busy is a variable that holds a reference to our original function. If we could look up the address in memory of busy and the address in memory of announce that I am doing important work, they would point to the same place. Our new busy function can be invoked with parentheses as if that was the name we originally gave our function. Notice how we assign announce that I am doing important work without parentheses as the value to the busy variable. We want to assign the value of the function itself, not the value it returns when invoked. In JavaScript, functions are first class objects. This means that like other objects you've encountered, JavaScript functions can have properties and methods. Since functions are a type of object, they have properties such as dot length and dot name and methods such as dot to string. You can see more about the methods and properties of functions in the documentation. Functions are special because we can invoke them, but we can still treat them like any other type of data. Let's get some practice doing that. Our instructions say we've defined a function with a very long name. Check that 2 plus 2 equals 4 a million times. This function takes a long time to execute. It checks whether 2 plus 2 equals 4, but it does it a million times, just to be really sure. Create a shorter named variable, is 2p2, that will be easier to work with and assign check that 2 plus 2 equals 4 a million times as its value. So let's do that here. Run it. We did a pass. Two, it says invoke your is2p2 function. Let's do that under here. Run it. We did a pass. Three. Hmm. If we forgot the original name of our function, is there a way we could figure it out? Use is2p2 to console log the name property of the function we assigned to is2p2. Check out the documentation if you need a hint. Let's look at it just to make sure. Right here, we would search name. So we get this display name and we get function dot name. This gives us the name of the function. This gives us the display name of the function. I think we want the name of the function. So let's try the dot name. We're logging it out. So let's do that here. Run it. We do pass. Let's see what the console says. And we do get check that two plus two equals four million times. So what we're learning here functions as data is that we can assign functions to variables and we can reassign them to new variables. In the example they gave us, we take a function with a really long name and we're able to assign it a shorter name and keep and the function will work the same. So if you want to keep a function with a really long name but shorten the name, we're able to do that by assigning that function to a new variable. And like it says here, if we look up both addresses of the variables, both are going to point to the same function. As long as you guys are understanding that, you guys are getting this lesson, and I'll see you in the next one.